almost the same as, as mm -hmm. any other time because my ah. mind never stops mm -hmm. on uh, thinking about business. Because mm -hmm. even in my sleep, mm -hmm. I'm dreaming about <laughs> uh -huh. how I can improve uh -huh. my business. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it really never stops. And I think that's, the, the, mm -hmm. that's what really sets entrepreneurs apart mm -hmm. because a nine to fiver, mm -hmm. after five o'clock for mm -hmm. the most part, your day is over and mm -hmm. you can really continue. But when you have your own company, mm -hmm. it's really hard to stop thinking. Yeah. Right? And, and there's really no vacation. It's, mm -hmm. it's doing what you love and, sure. and, and it's cliche, but mm -hmm. every day is a vacation when you're doing what you love. That is so true. I think that's the secret of success, that you're doing something you enjoy <laughs> so you don't sure. have to vacation. Yeah, yeah. Or your vacation time gets reduced, you know, because you need to get back to work, which is play <laughs> absolutely wow okay um also what i'd like to ask you and this is you know more of a sensitive uh question probably because you grew up as a korean american and uh working through a corporate world and now with your own business but probably more so i don't know if you've dealt with this in the corporate world being an asian american or korean american did these issues um set you apart from certain things? Did it distract you from certain things to get ahead or did it actually benefit you? I want to see if you've got some stories to share where, yeah. you know, how you've over conquered some of these things. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of Korean Americans and, and a lot of minorities in America that have mm -hmm. come across racism mm -hmm. and, and stereotypes. I have not, um, mm -hmm. to be honest, or, mm -hmm. or at least something that mm -hmm. I never noticed and mm -hmm. realized it. So, if anything, I thought being Korean American mm -hmm. um, really helped me stand out and hmm. uh, in, in everything. That, even in my high school, we didn't really yeah. have that many Korean Americans in my high school mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was really an opportunity for me to stand mm -hmm. out and shine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't have many Korean friends. I actually don't have any Korean oh. American friends in Korea and in mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. um, so most of my friends are mm -hmm. non-Korean mm -hmm. so I think that you know really was maybe called the token Korean guy or, mm -hmm. but it was it was always something that was mm -hmm. natural mm -hmm. um, and I think it really helped me than anything mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I definitely don't think it was a deterrence mm -hmm. I don't think it affected me negatively anyway mm -hmm. um, and I think it continues to do so you know mm -hmm. uh, with you know me being a, mm -hmm. a Korean blooded person yeah. uh, it really helps me identify with mm -hmm. other minorities and stand mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. um, in the business world because mm -hmm. there's just not that many of us in America mm -hmm. and, and uh, not a lot of us that are, have really entertained a, a new angle right. to business and, 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 and doing the things mm -hmm. that we're doing right now within yeah. my company. I mm -hmm. think it's a very uh, helpful factor. Mm -hmm. So in terms of... Um Maybe you didn't deal with this, but did you feel like you had to at all work harder at certain things, or did you feel like you had to um, reach a double level of certain things? Did you did this help you to challenge yourself more, or no? I, I think I think yes. Mm -hmm. I think that that gave me the drive. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stereotypes of yeah. certain types of jobs mm -hmm. that Koreans are expected to do, mm -hmm. or certain types of businesses that Koreans mm -hmm. uh, are partaking in. I didn't want to fall in that norm, mm -hmm. so I think that certainly gave me the drive to, mm -hmm. to, to be more successful, to stand mm -hmm. out more, mm -hmm. um, to take you know mm -hmm. the, the Korean side and mm -hmm. really showcase it in America mm -hmm. uh, in a new way, in a positive mm -hmm. way, and, and, and creating a, a situation where I can mm -hmm. uh, help others and, and be a role model, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, one day, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, yeah, I think it was a driving uh, mm -hmm. uh, and definitely a good momenting factor. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really great. Um, you know, you're a very positive person, and I, you know, met you several times, and knowing that you're a very positive person like this, um, I want to know if you can actually, you know, share with our viewers, how do you maintain your positiveness through work and off of work, too? Right. Yeah, if you could share with them. Mm -hmm. Well, in the business that I am, and I, I do a lot of sales myself, and, you know, sales is a very difficult uh, thing if, if you don't really have the right tools and the right skill sets, but most importantly, the right mindset. Um, you know, taking no for an answer is a part of sales, you know, and, and for myself, I take a lot of no's, but taking no for face value is not really what I'm, I'm about. I take a no as a not yet. And, uh, 
You know, if anybody is uh, not on the same page as me or I believe that uh, I am correct and, and I want to get my product into certain areas and, and create a selling position, uh, it's really about identifying, overcoming why I got that no and how do I overco overcome that no and turn it into a yes. So uh, I think it's about the mindset of, of taking a no and a negative uh, situation and turning it into a positive, rewarding situation through hard work and, and positivity. That's fabulous. <laughs> That's fabulous. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take this, uh, go to the next segment, and we'll be right back. Well, this is a segment where we can uh, conclude here, but before we do, we'd like to allow our guests to say a thank you to somebody here in TV land, <laughs> anywhere, you know, from out to TV land to anywhere. So you can look at the camera and go ahead and thank anyone that you would like to. Sure. I actually have two people that I'd really like to, to thank, and I don't get a chance to, to thank them often. So uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, first person is my mother. Uh, she is uh, a person that really helped me understand the world of entrepreneurialism, uh, gave me the strength and the, the inspiration and the advice to become a successful person. Uh, and in the process of becoming a successful person, uh, constantly watching and constantly supporting and reinforcing what I've always wanted to do. Uh, the second person that I'd like to thank is my previous boss um, that I used to work for. And he gave me the encouragement to leave the corporate rat race. Uh, it's something that he always wanted to do but never had the opportunity to do. Uh, so he definitely gave me the, uh, the reinforcement to, to go out and do what I love. And uh, I believe he currently uh, lives his life vicariously through me. So uh, thank you um, to both of you. And uh, I'll definitely uh, make sure that I am not a, a failure case. And then uh, hopefully I can make you guys proud. Um, continuously you know I'm curious to know um, there's what in terms of in your life what do you think is the most important aspects of your life besides business <laughs> you know other things besides family and business what are the things that actually get you going besides those two things what are more important in your life I think it's a peace of mind mm -hmm. um, you know, I think with with a weak mind, you know, there's not mm -hmm. much you can do. And, mm -hmm. and strengthening that that mindset and then having that inner peace is, is mm -hmm. something that I always strive to, to do. So I'm, I picked up a lot of meditation oh, really? uh, classes. So I do a lot of meditation in the morning and, and, and I cap off the night with uh -huh. meditation and I usually fall asleep while I meditate.